Hey everyone, hope that you are all feeling good, that you're having a good day. Let's go for a new episode of Cosplay Review, shall we? Today I wanted to go for something a little bit more special. We agree that most cosplayers on the scene are female. A lot, a lot, a lot of them. But let's not forget that we have also a lot of very, very talented male cosplayers. And I also want to give them a little bit of a shout out, a little bit of visibility. So you guys can see what they are capable of. And we're gonna immediately start by this cosplay that is brought to us by Kurld. Kurld. I think that's how it is pronounced. What you're seeing here is a cosplay of Shimazu Toyohisa that is one of the main protagonists of an anime called Drifters. Drifters is an anime that came out around 2016 and if I can resume a little bit the synopsis, a few reasons why you should watch this anime without spoiling too much, simple. Do you want to watch an anime where you can see I don't know how many very very known historical warrior, historical figure juking it out and fighting it off going full battle royale. There you go. If this sells it to you, please go give it a watch and uh, yeah, hope that you enjoy it. This cosplay here is a cosplay of, of course, Lily from Diablo 4. I am sure that everyone heard of Mommy Lilith by now. We love her, we adore her, she looks amazing. Especially in the case of this cosplay brought to us by Helvega, Helvega 1. Amazing cosplay, let me show you guys a little bit more detail. She also posted two pictures, one that shows the details of the back of her cosplay. This is just crazy. Look at that. The quality of those details. I cannot even imagine the hours, the time, the dedication that is needed to pull such a result. Amazing. Please go on her channel. Absolutely drop a like if you also are a Lilith enjoyer. Another cosplay of Helvega that I want to shout out immediately is this amazing cosplay of Griffith. I'm a big 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 Berserk fan, normal, like any other person that has something that is called taste. Griffith, beautiful, beautiful, and I love the work that has been made around the imagery, all the swords that are planted like around her, plus the dark background, etc. I just love it. This here is a cosplay of a character called Takakura Ken. Takakura Ken is a character that comes from this manga called Dandadan Dan, that is just a crazy manga. Uh, for who could I recommend this manga? I would say that, I mean, maybe it's a little bit of a throw, but I would say if you like like the craziness of some word, like a manga like Gums, for example, that is just wild and wacky as shit, Dandadan Dan will be your thing. Please go give it a read and I cannot wait for the anime release. 100% this manga is gonna have an anime release. It is just impossible for it to not be the case. It is just that fucking good. This cosplay has been brought to us by Sakikake underscore Kosa. Thank you, man. You did an amazing job on this one. I love it. Here we have a cosplay, aha, a cosplay of Kukaku Shiba, that is a character from Bleach. I don't think I need to present this anime, this manga, very known. Uh, by the way, you have the new season, the new Bleach season that is coming out this summer, so please, please, please tune in on this one. It promises, if it's as good as the previous season that came out, uh, now what, uh, two or three seasons ago, something like that, it promises to be amazing, to be glorious. This cosplay has been bought to us by underscore Tsumi underscore Ki, K-E. Please, same thing, go on her channel, give a like and give a follow if you enjoy what you're seeing here. I know I do. You probably guessed it from my previous video, but right now I'm deep, deep, deep into Honkai Star Rail. 
I just enjoy this game. I cannot wait for the next big content update that promises to be absolutely glorious for those who went on YouTube and watched that amazing trailer that came up for the last live that they did. This is a cosplay of Himeko, a Himeko character that I possess, by the way, in the game. One of my favorite character next to Jingguan. I absolutely adore her and I feel like Nue Nue 249 here that brought this cosplay did justice to this character. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. This here is a cosplay from a character, if I'm not wrong, called Nakahara Shuya. I think so, Shuya. It's a character that comes from an anime called Bungu Stray Dogs. I absolutely adore this anime. Right now we have quite a few seasons already. I think we have three or four seasons, if I'm not wrong. So a lot, a lot, a lot of episode to check. This is an action-packed anime with also a mix of mystery and supernatural. So if this speaks to you and if you enjoy the designs of those characters that you are seeing right here, please give it a go. I'm sure that you are gonna enjoy it very much. This cosplay has been bought to us by Joker underscore R02. Very, very good job. Please go on his page or elsewhere, drop him a like. I'm sure that he's gonna enjoy it very, very much so. And there you go. Once again, this is the end of a new episode of Cosplay Review. As always, please drop a like if you have a few seconds, a subscription if you wish to see a little bit more of this kind of content. And uh, yeah, as always, see you next time. Bye bye.